Sea turtles are fascinating creatures that have been around for millions of years. These majestic animals can grow to be very large and are found in oceans all around the world. Unfortunately, sea turtles are often plagued by a variety of problems, one of which is the growth of barnacles on their shells. In this article, we will discuss the reasons why barnacles grow on sea turtles, the potential dangers posed by barnacle growth, and the methods used to remove barnacles from sea turtles. Why do barnacles grow on sea turtles? Barnacles are a type of marine crustacean that attach themselves to hard surfaces in the ocean. This includes the shells of sea turtles, which provide a stable surface for the barnacles to grow on. Barnacles attach themselves to the turtle's shell as tiny larvae and grow into adults over time. While barnacles are not harmful to the turtles themselves, they can pose a variety of problems if they are allowed to grow unchecked. Potential Dangers of Barnacle Growth on Sea Turtles The growth of barnacles on sea turtles can cause a number of problems. First, the added weight of the barnacles can slow the turtle down, making it more difficult for it to swim and find food. Second, the barnacles can create drag in the water, which can make it harder for the turtle to navigate and escape predators. Third, the sharp edges of the barnacles can cut into the turtle's skin, causing injuries and potential infections. Finally, if the barnacles grow too large, they can obstruct the turtle's vision, making it difficult for it to see predators or find food. Methods for removing barnacles from sea turtles There are several methods used to remove barnacles from sea turtles. One method is to capture the turtle and manually remove the barnacles. This can be a time-consuming and difficult process, as the barnacles are often tightly attached to the turtle's shell. In addition, capturing and handling sea turtles can be stressful and potentially dangerous for both the turtle and the human handlers. Another method for removing barnacles from sea turtles is to use a specialized tool called a barnacle scraper. This tool is used to gently scrape the barnacles off the turtle's shell without harming the turtle. Barnacle scrapers are typically used by trained professionals and can be very effective at removing barnacles. A third method for removing barnacles from sea turtles is to use a chemical solution that dissolves the barnacles. This method is less invasive than manual removal or scraping, but it can be more time-consuming and may require multiple treatments to fully remove all the barnacles. Preventing Barnacle Growth on Sea Turtles While it is not always possible to prevent barnacle growth on sea turtles, there are some steps that can be taken to minimize the risk. One of the most important is to reduce pollution in the ocean. Pollution can disrupt the natural ecosystem and create conditions that are more favorable for barnacle growth. In addition, reducing the amount of debris in the ocean can help to reduce the likelihood that sea turtles will become entangled in fishing nets or other debris that can cause injury or stress. Another way to prevent barnacle growth on sea turtles is to provide them with a clean and healthy environment. This can be done by minimizing human impact on nesting beaches and ensuring that turtles have access to clean water and food sources. Conclusion In conclusion, barnacle growth on sea turtles can be a serious problem that can hinder their ability to swim, find food, and avoid predators. Fortunately, there are several methods available for removing barnacles from sea turtles, including manual removal, scraping, and chemical solutions. In addition, steps can be taken to prevent barnacle growth on sea turtles by reducing pollution and providing a clean and healthy environment. By taking these steps, we can help. Removing barnacles from sea turtles must be done with great care and with a team of experts trained in this type of procedure. This work requires precision and caution to ensure the safety of the turtle and to prevent any injury. Before performing barnacle removal, it is important to accurately identify the type of barnacles and the extent of the damage. The type of barnacles and the treatment method used may vary depending on the environment, climate, and species in which the turtle lives. Some types of barnacles require the use of special chemicals for removal. These chemicals are applied to the barnacles with caution to avoid harming the turtle. It is important to note that chemical solutions must be used with care to prevent harm to the turtle or other marine life. In some cases, a combination of manual removal and chemical treatment may be necessary to effectively remove the barnacles from the turtle's shell. It is essential to monitor the turtle's recovery after the removal process to ensure that it is healing properly and to prevent any infections or other complications. In addition to the methods for removing barnacles, there are steps that can be taken to prevent barnacle growth on sea turtles. These include minimizing pollution and ensuring that the turtle has access to a clean environment with plenty of food and water. Overall, removing barnacles from sea turtles is a delicate process that requires skill, experience, and care. By taking the necessary precautions and using appropriate methods, we can help ensure the safety and health of these magnificent creatures.
Barnacles are a common problem for sea turtles as they can attach themselves to the turtle's shell, causing discomfort and inhibiting movement. If left untreated, barnacle growth can lead to infections, weight loss, and even death. When removing barnacles from sea turtles, it is important to handle the turtle with care and to minimize stress. Stress can cause the turtle to panic and struggle, which can lead to injury or further complications. One of the most common methods for removing barnacles is manual removal, which involves carefully scraping the barnacles off the turtle's shell using a specially designed tool. This method is time-consuming and requires a great deal of skill and experience, but it is often the most effective way to remove stubborn barnacles. Another method for removing barnacles is the use of non-toxic solutions, such as vinegar or a mild detergent, to soften the barnacles before they are scraped off. This method is less invasive than manual removal, but it may not be as effective for large or stubborn barnacles. In some cases, surgery may be necessary to remove barnacles that have deeply embedded themselves into the turtle shell. This is a complex procedure that requires the expertise of a veterinarian or a team of experts trained in sea turtle medicine. After the barnacles have been removed, it is important to monitor the turtle's recovery closely. The turtle should be kept in a clean, warm environment with access to food and water. If the turtle shows signs of infection or other complications, it should be examined by a veterinarian. Preventing barnacle growth on sea turtles is also important. This can be achieved by minimizing pollution in the turtle's habitat, keeping the water clean, and ensuring that the turtle has access to plenty of food and water. Regular cleaning of the turtle's shell can also help prevent barnacle growth. In conclusion, removing barnacles from sea turtles is a complex and delicate process that requires skill, experience, and care. By taking the necessary precautions and using appropriate methods, we can help protect these amazing creatures and ensure their long-term survival in the wild.